What's up, you guys? Today is Five Nights at Freddy's' is ninth birthday. Um, I don't really know what to do this year. So, um, I'm probably just gonna, like, change my PFP for, like, the week or something. Um, to, like, a FNAF character, I go classic. But, yeah, today I'm going to just talk about whatever piece of FNAF I can think about. Which I feel as if it's better to express my thoughts than to just have some scripted video at the moment. Because, like, it's FNAF's ninth birthday. I should be genuine. You'd want someone to be genuine about your birthday. So let's be genuine about this birthday. I feel as if to start off first, Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't, I don't think I'm going to make this too long because, like, it ends in, like, a couple minutes. But anyways, FNAF's, um, what's it called? FNAF's little merch thing is a joke at this moment. Like, FNAF's merch was all, like, it, it felt, like, you could clearly tell, like, they didn't really give a fuck about anything after, like, they made the FNAF 1 merch. Which, yeah, they kind of do care a bit. Like, yeah. So, like, I feel as if it's not, I feel as if the only people that truly care were, like, McFarlane. They had genuine shit. So was Funko. Funko had some good shit. But also, if they, I feel as if they, if they, like, really give the fuck, they would have made FNAF Waves 2 through 3. And that's the same reason why they aren't made. And they, too, truthfully, they don't know who they're making it for. And that is why I, I kind of now kind of agree a bit more why FNAF should have been made by, like, other companies. Personally, I think FNAF should have been made by Jazzwares. Like, we, we, we would have had, like, so much good shit. But personally, I, I'm not really too worried about it. Um, I, I'm just gonna, like, chill with what we got at the moment. Because, to be honest, that's just what we got. Funko's never gonna change their ways. But maybe they might. We've seen, like, some of the new shit. Oh, my fucking God. They just made Christmas Funkos for Freddy and shit. What the fuck is this? Funko, no. <sighs> what the fuck, Funko? You can say you really funked up now. Eh. All right. So, let's talk about it. Some more shit. Now, um, yeah, clearly they don't give a fuck about the merch. Only McFarlane does since, well, they make shit that the fans would actually care about. And, well, it's sad that they're gone now. I wonder what happened. But now we have these fucking terrible Funko Snaps. Okay. Let me not go crazy. Funko Snaps are mediocre. They are obviously a cash grab. They don't give a fuck what they're doing. I don't even want to talk about it. Anyways, we also got, um, uh, let's get off that. We have the FNAF books. Um, Five Nights at Freddy's books are the weirdest. I was going to say worst, but I, no, they're more like, they're, they, 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 they kind of did kill the FNAF story. Like, I get that, yeah, it's kind of like, a lot of it's to make clarifications about stuff in the FNAF. But why not do that with games? In my opinion, FNAF never needed bu uh, books. If you can really do, if you can really tell a story in a really good way, you won't need books to convey it. Well, yeah, some things in game, yeah, you're gonna need books for. But I feel as if the like they should have only made like FNAF books, kind of like in game. Like they they could have done this way better. They could have this like the Silver Eyes trilogy or the Charlie Tr trilogy could have been handled so better. Like, they, they handled William's personality really good by making him kind of this awkward guy, but then making him, like, su like super expressive when he's with Spring Bonnie. Th that's a good idea. That could give Afton a bit more depth. Which, obviously, well, Funko, kind of, or not Funko, which obviously Scott Cawthon kind of disregarded now. But, hey, it doesn't matter. Giving a character depth is always going to be a great thing. Which, they kind of fucked up the books. Like, why the hell does Fazgo exist? Why, why does the Mimic need to exist? Wh what happened to the little pizza game? I feel as if Five Nights at Freddy's is going into this little um, VR game thing is a mediocre idea. Like, why the f- like, it's a like, what happened to the possessed animatronic thing? That was scary. I get that, like, having an undead serial killer in like a VR and like a computer and shit is scary, I guess. But what's scarier? What's scarier? Possessed animatronics that have crazy chill that have relentless or re uh, restless children uh, in them will kill you if they see you and stuff you in an animatronic suit, or 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 animatronics 
that want to kill you just because just because they're getting controlled by Willie Mafton, an undead serial killer. What a great thing. In my opinion, that works better for a movie though. Like that like that if that was like the Chucky thing from like twenty nineteen, but he was possessed by like actual Chucky, that would have been boss as fuck. What the fuck, boss as fuck. But that would have been actually pretty cool. Like that would have been a cool twist, I guess. Oh yeah, by the um yeah. Um, I feel as if if I go on to the books for any longer, I'm gonna go crazy. But I do feel as if Fazbear Fights Fazbear Fights is like probably the better than Tales of the Pizza Plex. But I'd say Fazbear Fights is pretty good pretty good. I would have rather it been like uh, Fazbear Fights is alright. It definitely has its is it's icky parts, but it's not bad. Now we got Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. The next big thing. Yeah, it's like, it kind of did do everything to like, like, fuck. It kind of did do everything right, but in a wrong way. Like, it did bring a whole community of people back, but it also brought some weird people back. And it lost some great fans. And it lost some fans. I was about to say good, but Fiznom's kind of a bitch. He just is a bitch, actually. He's a weird fella. But it's actually, it's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Um, it's, it's just, they, they, they just handled it wrong, a little wrongly, which we've all handled some stuff wrongly. Like, I've handled some of my YouTube videos wrongly. Yeah. But it still is a good game, down to the core. I just think it's not, it's, it's severely unrealistic, which is what FNAF is supposed to be realistic. So that's the, that's kind of what, how it kind of breaks FNAF. Anyways, let's talk about Five Nights at Freddy's. What should we talk about now? The movie. I feel as if the FNAF movie will kind of be the ultimate piece of FNAF merch. And I hope that it doesn't become like lost media anytime soon. Because, well, that's just too much footage we can go buy off. Oh yeah, speaking of lost footage, you know, FNAF Plus is now lost footage. Or, not, or lost media, I guess. I don't know why I said lost footage. Since, well, it's likely cancelled now, which... Oh, Lordy Lord, it had so much potential. If the guy wasn't such a bitch... That's like a ruined boring guy. Like, fuck he does. It. Little brief tangent aside, uh, my um, let's just think. I I don't want this video to be too long because like I don't want this to be uploaded at twelve. But yeah, I, I do love Five Nights at Freddy's. I feel as if it's so mediocre at this point that I I don't know. I feel as if I can't. Um, FNAF does need to like change some shit up. Like he needs some retcons. I don't know. I just feel as if, like, something in FNAF trying to change during the modern timeline. But, yeah, I, um, I really want to do this, something like this again, where I just talk, speak my thoughts. But, anyways, have a good day. Bye.